Today I'm going to share with you guys one or two things that I have learned about making corner posts. So I'm going to put um, a support right here from this part. I already put it on that side um, and then the other side as well. So, But pretty much what I do is I cut this 45 degrees on each end, kind of like put it against the square post. Make sure it's covering it as much as possible. So I like run right there. And then I put a line here just so I know I'm within the um, range. So I have to move it until it just barely touches right there. So after that. This is pretty much what I want my post to be, the support. So I have this one, and I'm gonna bury it right there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm putting it this one right here, and I'm gonna test it to make sure that it works before I actually pound it. Just put in some dirt on it. And you can see, it's within my line right there. This will keep it from moving. There you go. Okay, so I'll do another test right here. Man, looks about right. Looks like pretty tight, pretty tight. And um, I mean, if it's pretty tight. What I can end up, always end up doing is cutting one more slide. So I pound it and um, it looks about right. I'm gonna just open the trench right here so I could drill uh, the next post and then the other post can be buried a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks like it fit pretty well as you can see right there and on this side as well. Came out a little bit off from the, um, from the line, but I think it's just fine. So the last step here that I did is that I cut partially uh, some of these so it'd be a little more flat. So I used the chainsaw right here and then I'm about to put some screws and whatnot. Um, I do so I'm gonna just paint it black with like the um, stain that is waterproof just to conserve it a little bit more so I'm gonna put two screws right here making sure it's center Alright, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the large one now. Perfect. Right, that's it.